Back in 2017, if you were dipping a first toe into blockchain and cryptocurrencies, there is no doubt that you would have had your head sharply turned by ICOs, the fundraising craze that launched 1,000 ships and sunk 10,000 more. Fast forward four years and a new craze has gripped this young space of ours. DeFi. Not a verb, not a t-shirt brand, it's actually, let me slip on my Oxford English slippers here, a portmanteau of decentralized and finance. Take two parts millennial angst, mix in Gen Z ambivalence towards legacy institutions, and stir in the tears of the dot-com boom. Bang! That is DeFi. Or is it? Camilla Russo, the voice of DeFi, the face of DeFi, may I say. What is DeFi? DeFi is a parallel financial system being built without banks that's open to anyone, anywhere. For the longest time, we believed that the source of all truth was libraries or those with access to better education than ourselves. But the internet changed all of that. And if you think about it, money hasn't really changed for thousands of years since the first barter trades began. But if we could survive a seismic shift in the way we communicate with each other, then we can absolutely survive a similar shift in the way we transact with each other. DeFi isn't scary or risky or political in of itself. It operates under two basic principles. One, your money is your money. And two, once you accept the first principle to be true, then the world is your oyster. Borderless, free, you can do what you want. You work hard, you earn money, real money, and those earnings in a digital form can do a lot, genuinely. You worked for them, but are they really working for you? Quid pro quo, defo do, or whatever we want to call it. So before you run screaming away and saying, this is just too damn complicated, just hold on to that single thought. It's not their money, it's my money, it's your money. Not the banks, not the governments. And when you decide to do something with it, you have the right to see where it is at all times and to decide its fate. Now that's not scary or at least it shouldn't be. If you really want to interrogate your money, your value creation, who you are in the world, then it starts from posing a simple question. Is my money really my money? And in DeFi, the answer is yes. It will always be yes. And if that's your jam, then keep watching. If not, then the pressure from everything that DeFi is currently building should result in improved legacy banking services anyway. So you win either way. Go you. This is DeFi 101. Been a, been, been a little too nice for y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. But for now. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the balls, I'm flipping the ball. Whoa, whoa, whoa.